Hey guys, it's Noelle at Finer Works. I just want to take a couple minutes and show you something really cool that you're probably going to love when you find it. So this is especially aimed at all of you people who produce, uh, we'll say designs and artwork that's actually customizable and you offer your, cus your customers, say, uh, a number of color choices. So that way they can match this artwork or these designs to whatever space they are uh, decorating. So when we have color options up for our customers, we're usually going to give them some kind of color chart like you see here and um, the problem with that is that the brightness on their screen may be higher than what it should be but the worst thing that could possibly happen is that your customer could order something let's say that's turquoise and end up getting green or order navy and end up getting black so let me show you something you can do to ensure that does not happen I've got six different colors up here. Some of them are in the, uh, the gamut and others are not. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on that gamut warning by going to view and then just clicking gamut warning. And so three, uh, four of my six colors are not within the color gamut. Um, I have really good news. There is a super quick fix for this. And all it requires is that you double click on the color swatch for each specific shape layer, uh, or in this case, whatever. You're working with um, and you've got a little tool right here it's a warning for the out of gamut for printing message um, now if you turn this gamut warning off up here you can see that you no longer have that gray space but you do still have this to indicate you're not in your color gamut uh, for the sake of this little illustration I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on but I want to show you something that you can do to instantly fix this. It's not going to make your color exactly what you want it to be um, without maybe some tweaking, but it's going to be so very close that um, we'll say the customers that are viewing your color uh, options are not even going to know the difference when they get their actual print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click this exclamation point right there and instantly my picker changes and it it actually gives me a color that is somewhat close you can see it is it is darker but if I want to move that around and tweak it I can do that just always come back to your gamut warning uh, make sure that you're on spot as far as uh, being within the print gamut so uh, what you can do is just go through every single one of the the colors that do not fall within the gamut just click your exclamation point in the triangle and bam you're right where you need to be within the gamut again you're going to notice that your colors get slightly more subdued but that's natural the gamut that we're seeing on our display is way out of the tangible ga gamut and um, in real life we don't see those colors anyway so i'm just going to click ok and move on to the next one and our red i'll just move that over manually um, and then we've got one more to do, which is our orange burnt sienna color. And we'll just click that again. And that is actually very close. I'm happy with it. Um, the good news is that, like I was saying, your customers probably wouldn't even know the difference. So don't go changing any of your color charts or options. Just make sure that you go through these steps when you're customizing the designs for your customers. Because as I said, the last thing you want is to have a customer contact you and tell you they're not happy because it's not what they expected to get. Hope this has been helpful and good luck with your next print project.